Hi guys, it's V Godly, and um, today's look is called I'm a Celebrity, Don't Look at Me. So, don't look at me. Now I'm just playing. Today's look is a look um, combined of trends as far as accessories, going with your makeup, and some really pretty eyes, some really cool eyelashes. Oop, I messed it up, gal. But yeah, I hope you like this look. If you want to learn how I completed it, don't watch this video. <sighs> no, I'm just playing. Again, watch it. Let me know what you think. And here we go. Okay, guys, so to start for this eye, I already have all my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lid. I don't really have it up here because I don't really produce any oil up here and I don't want to waste any of it. So I'm using my MAC Duo in Burning Ambition mineralized eyeshadow I love this. this is one of my favorite MAC eyeshadows basically I take an eyeshadow brush dip it into that light gold color and bring it in the corner and halfway through my eye it's okay if you get a little bit messy and it is okay if you go a little bit too far because we're gonna darken that with a dark color and with some black eyeshadow this is a really pretty pretty gold this is also something that can be used and I will use and a little bit more of my contouring. After you do that golden color, I want you to take a fluffy blending brush and just go in with the brown and do the rest of your eye. This isn't one of those eyes where you need to be extremely precise or perfect or dead on or really, really good to create because this is kind of a messy, smoky, smoldering eye. And just go in windshield wiper motion and really darken that crease and then the rest of it. I'm going to keep blending with some more of this brown color because I want it to be really intense. But once you reach your level of intensity, you can definitely stop. Okay, and to even deepen this further, I'm going to take my black eyeshadow from Rimmel Black Velvet and go ahead and deepen it a little bit more right in that crease in that socket. I always wish that I had bigger eyelids. My eyelids are so small. I always feel like there's a lot of looks that I can't do or can't recreate. But when you go ahead and deepen that socket, it helps to make your eyelids look a little bit bigger. Deepen that, deepen that. I'm gonna deepen this side a little bit more too. But once you do that, your eye is pretty much done actually. As funny as that may sound, all you have to go and do now is Rim your eye with some black coal eyeliner and smudge it with some eyeshadow. And I'm going to show you how I do that in one second. So what I want you to do is get your favorite black coal eyeliner, kind of dull the tip, and go in your waterline and then go on your lash line on the bottom. And there you go. And it's okay if you get a little bit messy because it's going to be a smoky, smoldery, smudgy eye. I said kind of just take some eyeshadow and go in and smudge it out a little bit. It's really good to use an eyeshadow over a sm smudgy liner because the smudge liner don't dry so well and it could be all over your face, all over your hands, all over your clothes, and you really don't want that. That's not really part of the look. So just go in and smudge it out. Smudge it out. And that is pretty much it. And you can kind of come up here and draw this in a little bit more, make that a little bit more defined. And then kind of blend it all together. I'm going to line my top lash with the eyeliner and then I'm going to go over it with a liquid eyeliner and extend my line of my eye a little bit further in to kind of give that ooh, kind of bird effect. I'll be right back. So I went in and I lined the top of my eyelash, um, my eyelash, lined the top of my eyelid and extended my line in a little bit further so you can get that kind of bird effect. And I added a pair of glamorous eyelashes by Sonia Kashuk from Target. Maybe like $3 and change. I want you to take your brush after that and just kind of highlight 
and blend and highlight some more over here and blend blend okay another thing i'm going to do is kind of give myself a little bit of extra shine because you gotta you gotta glisten take a, a little bit of a fatter brush and put some on top of your cheeks and on your chin just move it in really well ah i kind of screwed up a little bit on this side but okay kind of that perfect and you know what, what you don't have to you can stop right here if you want just put some gloss on your lips and keep it moving if you like but i want to add a little bit of color to my cheeks and a little bit of color to my lips i mean it's only necessary so what i'm going to use is claret mom by <laughs> claret by matisse and this is also a very good dupe of cactus flower. However, this is powder and cactus flower is a cream. So what I'm going to do is just kind of smile and kind of just, just a little bit. I hope you can see it. It gives a really, really pretty effect. It gives a really pretty um, soft summery look you got the gold going on you got the really pretty coral color blush going on you got the deep eyes and the blush kind of counteracts that kind of so you don't look so severe but what you could do is you could really cut those cheeks crazy and don't use any blush and just use bronzer and you're serious you will look serious you will look who is that bitch <laughs> you know how that is you know <laughs> but um just Blush it out a little bit, and I'm gonna use this kind of a coral colored lip I just got. In. You know, it's a really pretty color. And then I'm gonna take some gloss. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to take some lip plumper and blend it out because it's a neutral color. It's gonna really give your lips a nice effect. Okay, and what I'm going to do is completely blot this out into the point where it looks kind of like a stain. Okay, there you go. Now you have your complete, I'm a celebrity, don't look at me, but look at me. <laughs> What's going on? You got the super pretty goldy smoky eyes. You got the super contoured face, you got the lips with a really pretty color, you got the cheeks going on, you got your accessories going, do it, do ladies, and one more thing. And I know you ain't think it was over, okay? You have to throw on some super bright Ray-Bans or Ray-Ban knockoffs or whatever the case may be. Throw on some super bright shades, you know what I'm saying? See if you can get some nail polish kind of corresponding or the complete opposite direction. Either match it or completely go in the other direction. Got some cheeks that are kind of going with it. The lips are kind of going with it. These shades are really, really popular right now. So you definitely got to do it at one time. And um, I hope you like this look. I am a big fan of this look. I'm a big fan of these shades. I hope you are too. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'm trying to step my game up. Trying to bring it. Really trying to do some really cool looks. I hope this was one of them, ladies. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll holler at you later. Bye.